Chris Castaldo from Wall Street Buy, Sell, Hold. I'm here with Rick, uh, the president and CEO of Nutrafarma. Rick, great to see you again. Thanks for having me, Chris. Always a pleasure. Well, Rick, it's good to see you back in New York, and you're specifically here to start uh, producing infomercials for both radio and television for Niloxin. Right. Uh, how are those going? It's, it's actually really interesting because this is a new experience for us. Uh, the way New Vitality uh, has their, their, they basically have a formula. And they've already done their, their 30 second spots, 60 second spots on radio ads all over the country. I get calls every day, Rick, just heard you on the radio. So they're obviously out there already uh, mm -hmm. putting those ads and tweaking the message. Uh, now this trip, we're recording what they call a long form, a mm -hmm. 28 minute long radio infomercial which they want to put together and have ready uh, in the next several weeks. Mm -hmm. So that's the first step, that's radio. We've also uh, worked on the scripting for the television commercials, which are scheduled to be produced by the end of October, beginning of November. And then uh, uh, we have already spoken to Jonathan and expect to have those uh, on air sometime mm -hmm. end of November, beginning of December. Okay, so the next 30 to 60 days, you're going to be very busy. Sales are going to start you know, coming in. The cash register is going to start banging. <laughs> and uh, you're going to start smiling more and more. And uh, uh, your shareholders will as well. Uh, but it seems like the progress, this is really a, your turnaround year, uh, 2013, the second half has been really gangbusters for you, so congratulations uh, Thank you. on your Thank milestones. You. You've, you've been working diligently. Every time I try to reach you, you're always flying somewhere in <laughs> meetings. Um, I try to be, what do they say, the duck in the water. It looks calm, but underneath it's... Right, right. Uh, <laughs> kicking, but, kicking, kicking. Uh, it's very exciting, especially to be a shareholder. Uh, the last time we spoke, your stock was less than a penny. Uh, you went up to almost three cents. That that was over a 600 percent increase. Uh, the average volume has gone from a million to uh, you know five or six million shares a day. Yeah. I remember it was on August 26th and 27th. Your stock broke out. You traded 34 million shares a couple of days in a row. I'd like to reference that, um, which is probably helping. Uh, uh, there was a there was an, a segment on CNBC that was uh, five or ten minutes long, and it talked about people and their pets and how people spend $60 billion a year annually on their pets, and the pet is no longer a pet, it's part of the family. They sleep in the bed, they have a, a doggy bed. Uh, that being said, Walmart also said they're going into the pet health care insurance. Um, I imagine it's cheaper for them to buy, Nyla I'm sorry, pet pain away than write a, a go to the, the vet, pay a vet bill, and get uh, Rimitol. What, what is the pre prescription pain drug for pets? There's really nothing for dogs and cats. Uh, they give either tramadol or demerol okay. to dogs, which just knocks them out, just puts them to sleep. They get all sluggish. Or they give types of NSAIDs, basically very strong aspirin, mm -hmm. which is ver really bad for their kidneys and bad for their stomach. Mm -hmm. uh, and in many cases, they'll tell you to cut the pill in half or don't use it unless you actually ha absolutely have to. Mm -hmm. so there's really not, not a lot of choices. And every pain drug for cats causes kidney failure. So it's very hard on the, on, on the on kidneys of cats. So this is really something that is is meeting an unmet need in the market. And safely. Uh, it's safe, it's effective, it's incredibly effective. And it's for any kind of pain. And uh, I, I like, uh, I've had this conversation with New Vitality as well, with uh, Jonathan, New Vitality. There is no placebo effect in dogs and cats. We know it works. Right. We give it to them and it works. And so uh, we have no way to gauge this market because it's a, it's a market that's not being addressed. Well, uh, accor according to, to my studies, there's 85 million cats in the USA, there's 75 million dogs. People spend 60 billion an annually, and that segment from what I've read, about $11 billion is on pet medication. How much on pain medication, we are yet to determine that, but you've got a big sandbox to play in. Yeah, yeah, this is a, a lot of room, and everybody I talk to about this says, how can I get it, how can I get it? And New Vitality has done their test market uh, campaign, so they've already done radio ads, which generated, uh, I don't even know how many hundreds of calls. A lot of the people call us directly at Nutrafarma when they can't get the product because it's not for sale yet. Right. We're still in the manufacturing process. And they say, how can I get it? I need it right away for, for Fluffy sure. or Snowball sure. or whatever. They, they, uh, my dogs are cupcake and bubbles. I happen to be able to give them the product. <laughs> <laughs> Going through the manufacturing process, um, is there an inventory level that you want to achieve before you turn the lights on and start selling this product? Because this this has the potential to just crash the system. Yeah, it's, it's a, a very tricky. I mean, uh, supply chain management is a really, it's a skill in and of mm -hmm. itself. 
I mean, the, the perfect company would have a full warehouse on the first day of the month and an empty warehouse on the last day of the month and keep keep it going. But obviously, we have no way of knowing where right. the sales are going to be, so we have to be causcious. Right. Uh, some people would say that when we made the last time we made Nyloxin, we made too much, which mm-hmm. is why I have a full warehouse of Nyloxin. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we already did get orders uh, from New Vitality to, to bring the pet pain away in. Obviously, TCN wants to have the product as well, right. and we're going to be selling it ourselves. Mm-hmm. Uh, we also have uh, dedicated distributors out there that want to start bringing it into uh, Pet Supermarket and Pet Smart, all the pet stores, bring it to trade shows. Mm-hmm. And we've even been approached by a, a very large manufacturer of, uh, of pet products in France mm-hmm. to register it in the UK, in, in the uh, EU. Well, the French uh, love their poodles. Yeah. Well, this is the largest uh, producer of, of animal products in Europe, and uh, they, they'd like the pet product over there. Are they going to well. private what, private label it, or they going? It's going to yeah. be well. It's also a process because there it would be a registered drug, mm-hmm. and it would be almost a two year process. So oh, okay. they so want to start bit... now to get it through the trials and everything. But there's so much interest globally in this product. So uh, I believe that uh, we should have it manufactured available by the end of the year, mm-hmm. and then once we have the first manufacturing done, it'll be a very short time frame to keep it going and, okay. and keep it manufactured. Have you figured your price point on the pet pain away? I would argue it's, going to, it's probably going to be less than $30. Uh, I think it's probably going to be somewhere along the line of regular strength Niloxin, which is about $25 a bottle. Okay, so th- again, that's probably one of the reasons why Niloxin is not on New Vitality's website. You're still figuring out the offer, the pricing. Um, but when that is all set in stone, you, you'll find the product on the New Vitality website. A- absolutely, yeah. They're very excited about it. Like I said, they've already ordered it. Uh, they're on a daily basis, when are we going to get it, how are we going to start uh, mm-hmm. marketing, and, and they're already uh, testing in different dogs. They want testimonials. They want uh, the dog's testimonials, the owner's testimonials. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think all the ads are basically going to be just people with their dogs and cats telling us how great it is. Right. Well, speaking of testimonials, um, obviously the American Kettle Club should, should know about this. And yeah. uh, I know there's been talk swirling around that you've spoken to them already. Uh, um, is this the case? No, we've we've gotten contacts uh, to talk to a lot of different groups mm-hmm. of, uh, but the American Kennel Club would be wonderful because there's a dedicated group of people sure. that absolutely love uh-huh. their dogs, and this is a great product for them as well. So uh, we'd love to have something to do with uh, the American Kennel Club. Rick, do you, do you want to talk about your direct distribution because? When New Vitality starts pumping money into infomercials, and you become a household name and word, well, you know, household name and word, like a, an OxyClean or a ShamWow or a Slap Chop or one of those products, uh, and you start selling that product direct uh, to the through outlets, uh, don't you make all that profit? Is that high margins? You don't have to split with with New Vitality. Yeah, it's an interesting question because, like uh, we talked about. Uh, uh, multi-level marketing, which is direct to, to distributors mm-hmm. and their customers. We have New Vitality, which is uh, uh, mass marketing through direct response, through infomercials. We already have uh, several uh, dozens of doctor's offices, small pharmacies that already carry the product. Uh, I love the fact that we have doctor's offices all over the country that stock the product, give it to their patients, mm-hmm. use it in therapy. We have physical therapists, chiropractors that already use the product, and they use it as part of therapy as mm-hmm. well uh, in their office. They also offer it to their patients. And we're going to continue that. We believe that that's going to be an explosive market for us because of all the advertising that New Vitality and TCN mm-hmm. are going to be doing as well. Um, so we have now put together, we have, we've hired a sales manager and he's putting together an uh, independent sales force across the country to go right into doctor's offices, uh, outreach to chiropractors, outreach to physical therapists, to let them know about our product, that we have the uh, eight ounce professional size pump that they can use in their office, the smaller product they should be selling to their patients, and get their patients in continuity as well, where every mm-hmm. month their patients are gonna get the product from them. Right. And uh, as I said, with all the advertising that's gonna be done over the next three to six months, we think that alone is an explosive market, and you're right, it goes right to us. We have no middlemen in right. that way, no wholesale. We'll be selling it and just paying a commission to the salespeople. Right. The professional market, I had not even thought, could be probably your best sales agents because if someone goes to a chiropractor and introduce someone to uh, Niloxin or Cobroxin, if they go get uh, a massage from a massage therapist, uh, they go to physical therapy, they use this with an ultrasound. Can you, can you use the topical gel with an ultrasound? Yeah, actually we have a protocol for physical therapists to use it during therapy, whether they're doing ultrasound or TENS units, even electrical stimulation. Uh, it works wonders. It, it greatly amplifies the effects that you get during therapy. Well, this is very exciting. I mean, you've got Niloxin, you've got military, you've got India. 
Uh, you have South Africa. You, we haven't even talked about uh, Central and South America. Are you mm -hmm. registering a product for sale there? Uh, we have our patents and trademarks in Colombia, in Venezuela, in, uh, I'm thinking, uh, uh, we, throughout Central America, in mm -hmm. Panama, uh, in Costa Rica, we have our patents, trademarks, and certificates of free sale for all those different countries. Mm -hmm. Now we're in the process of registering those products to be on the ground. We've already identified distributors, and we're working with those distributors to finish the process. Okay, uh, as an investor and someone in the financial business, um, we all want in instant gratification, and I think if people listened uh, to our interview on August 15th. Uh, they're very, very happy. The stock has performed quite well. It was, it was up at 1.600%. Even still yet, I think it's up over 300% from our last interview. Um, but on the immediate front, uh, we have Pet Pain Away ready to launch. We have Niloxin ready to go, infomercial and radios, uh, radio commercials. Um, what do we have to look forward uh, after? Oh, and we have the Cash Network, which is going to start selling um, how soon? Uh, right away. They've already started. Okay, so yeah. that's actually going to be the yeah. first infusion of capital yeah. uh, sales, and, and then uh, the Niloxin uh, through new, new Vitality, and then the pe Pain Away will be the third, which, which will be closing out the year. Yeah. But I, I, what I really need to get across to, to investors, and I said this before, is stock is speculative. What is a company doing, not today, or even in three months or six months, what are you doing in 12, 18 months, mm -hmm. three years, five years? And what people have to understand is Nutrapharma is an R&D company. We have 21 patents and we have a, a very deep platform of drugs for mm -hmm. multiple sclerosis, HIV, adrenal myelinopathy, rheumatoid arthritis, pain. Uh, with our platform, we could really make dozens of new therapies over the next five to 10 years. Uh, what's really exciting to me, the reason I stayed with Nutrapharma so long was really our MS drug, multiple right. sclerosis. Uh, we've done the uh, animal models, we've done the, uh, the, uh, the microarray data, mm -hmm. we've done all the preclinical work, and we've done a, a, our phase one studies. We're ready to move into phase two in multiple sclerosis. Now with MS, all the drugs for multiple sclerosis simply slow down the forward progression of the disease. Right. As far as I know, we have the only drug ever studied that stops the forward progression of the disease and reverses the symptoms over time. If we can prove that in a phase two clinical study, then we'll be a great target for a licensing partner, which could be hundreds of millions of dollars to the company. Right. And, and that is a 12 to 18 month study. Our goal right now is with the sale of the products, we're going to be able to create a war chest for future research and be able to get back into Roll the Roll the profits back into R&D. Yeah, for MS, for HIV, herpes, mm -hmm. hepatitis C, all the other indications mm -hmm. we have. And as we become a licensing house over the next three to five years, this becomes a mm -hmm. far different company than just a manufacturer of pain And drugs. if sales ramp up as we expect, um, your stock appreciates as we expect and can get to a more acceptable level, 50 cents, 75 cents. We, we can't put a target yet, uh, but these are realistic projections. Uh, you, you probably would do some financing at th that level where it's, it's not as dilutive. Yeah, if we're, if we're going to have to do our own phase three trials for hundreds of millions of dollars, we could do that as well. But I, I'll you remind people that, in, uh, that Amgen, which is the world's largest biotechnology company, was a penny a share back in 1986. Rick, I'm glad to uh, spend time with you again. I'm looking forward to sitting down with you six weeks from now as well with uh, Jonathan from New Vitality. Uh, if you can do as much in the next six or eight weeks that you've done in the previous, um, I think 2014 is going to be very exciting for you uh, and myself because I'm a shareholder as well. Yeah, we expect 2014 to be a great breakout year for us, not only for the sale of products and the launch of new products, but also the being able to turn back on the clinical research and show people what we have for the future. Uh, we have a short-term, mid-term, and long-term plan that's going to really benefit everyone and surprise everybody. We're going to help a lot of people. Well, you sounds great. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. Thanks. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Rick. Well, it's Chris Castaldo. I'm wrapping up with Rick from Nutrafarma as well as Jonathan Flicker. Uh, we look forward to speaking with you again in another six to eight weeks to do our third segment of our interview. Thank you.